transcendent thinking may be to the adolescent mind and brain what exercise is to the body. Most people can exercise, but only those who do will reap the benefits. So this article of the February 2025 edition of Scientific America talks about this concept of transcendent thinking. So what is transcendent thinking? It actually involves two different networks in your brain. The first is the default mode network, and it's highly associated with self-reflection, with creative thinking, and also with values and beliefs. The second is the executive control network, and it involves focusing on the environment around us and managing our behaviors. So transcendent thinking is actually bouncing back and forth between the default mode network, who am I, you know, my internal reflection, and the executive control network, all the environment around me. And when you bounce back and forth, back and forth, you actually build a stronger connection between who you are and how you fit in the world around you. And it's strongly associated with this concept of empathy as well. And by actually doing this transcendent thinking, connecting who am I to the world around me, it develops the regions in your brain associated with resilience and overall well-being. So every now and then, to develop that brain of yours and to become more overall resilient and have a higher sense of well-being, just take a step back and think about, okay, how do I connect to the world around me and how does the world around me connect to me as well?